Yeah, mate, I'm out of the game. I mean, no more get-rich-quick schemes, no more scamming. I'm on the straight and narrow now, bud. I'm also a uh, small business owner now. I've got a franchise going and everything. That's pretty good. Now, it's a new concept, a new idea. I'll uh, run you through it. I uh, come to your backyard uh, with a mower, and I mow it for 50 bucks. Pretty good, eh? Yeah, she was a bit tough going at first, mate, but once you get the brand out there, mow a couple of lawns, get a couple of customers, I mean, then you can start bringing in franchisees. And that's where the real money is. Because I know it may look like I'm in the lawn care business, but in reality, I'm in the fucking trailer selling business. Yeah, so for a cool $25,000, uh, you get yourself a little fuck off trailer with my face on it, to carry around your lawnmower and such. <sighs> the mower's extra, of course. I mean, I can't be giving away shit for free. It's fucking Murph's mowing, not a fucking charity. Gotta make a quid here and there, you know? Yeah, but once you join the Murph's Mowing family, it's not all dollars and smiles right off the bat. There's still a few things you gotta manage, you know? Petrol's a big one. It is no easy task keeping all those fucking mowers filled up all the time. Let me tell you, mate. And depending on how business is going that week, I might even just help myself to a free fill up down at the old British Petroleum if I can. And yeah, they do have cameras up to stop that sort of thing, you know? Like catch your license plate on the camera type deal, but last time I checked, the old Victor doesn't have any fucking plates on her, mate. So good luck with that one, dickheads. Yeah, she's definitely a labour-intensive business to get started, mate. And now look, there's nothing wrong with getting in there and putting in the work, bud. But I personally believe in working smarter, not harder. So that's why I offer an exclusive work experience program for all the local high schools. I mean, when you think about it, work experience is just a fancy word for child labour. I mean, paying fucking pennies on the dollar, and as long as I keep telling the school that they're learning valuable life skills and developing a strong work ethic and shit like that, they just keep sending them my way. I mean, it's literally free money. Yeah, you can't really fail at this gig, mate, eh? I mean, the only thing that's gonna bother you is if you run out of yards to mate. And for that dilemma, mate, I pull out the big guns. The old yard cleanup service. What I do is, I drop a card around to a bunch of houses about me services. I let the card marinate, then a couple of days later, I just pick a house, wait for them to go to work, and then me and the boys move in. Once we're there, we just completely fuck their yard up. Just shit everywhere. Proper Gaza Strip spec. Then, when they come home from work and see all that shit everywhere, they're gonna want a yard clean up, ASAP. So when we get a call, we return to the scene of the crime and clean up the mess we made and get paid to do it. I mean, it's a fucking perfect plan, man. So how much do you spend a week on newspapers trying to fuck up people's yards? Yeah, look, according to our uh, fiscal analysis of the, uh, the upward wedge, uh, look, too much, way too much, okay? And look, I'll level with you. If I don't sell one of these trailers in the next fucking six hours, old Murph's going under, all right? So I gotta fucking go, but it is not all dollars and fucking smiles over here, okay? Oh, I don't have time for this video shit either, okay? I gotta flog these fucking dog trailers off to some fucking idiot. Uh, you can keep the gear, it's all out of fucking fuel anyway. Uh, come on. What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal? Cheers for watching the video, boys. Now, in this one, we spent $80 on a Murph's mowing shirt. I don't even know how much on the fucking trailer, and that's money we're not getting back because YouTube hates how much we swear. So if you do want to support the boys, jump on Patreon, you get a whole nother show. As little as a couple of bucks a month, you get to come out and hang out with the boys. Now, special shout out to all our club presidents. These videos practically aren't possible without these fellas. I'm gonna read their name. Tate Killam, Wilson Steele, Daniel Java, Jack Stuff, Willie Dejo or Deho, Jamie Went, Joe Mama, Alex Hick, Bryce Roper, incompetenceinsurance.com.au, Troy Alardi, Bo Kelly, Alan Newhouse, my Nan Ribs Cone, the classic, Stephen Dorenboom, Michael Hunt, Daniel, DOC or Doc, Caleb Honey, Ryan Powell, Bill Chen Young, my Nan thinks you're hot, I think your Nan's hot, Ultra Light, that Bunnings cunt, Lachlan Heron, KP, Bruno Bartko, Aaron B. Li Aaron B. Lingwood, Murph Sun, and Dylan3D107. So thanks for supporting the show. Thanks for keeping us going and we'll see you in the next one.